Hi, and welcome to Restored by Polish, where we talk about how Polish helps us with our overall mental and physical well-being. I'm Krista. I'm Jacqueline. And today we're going to do um, the first Polish purchase in 2021. Um, and this is a little tricky because for both of us, really, right? Because you don't really I don't purchase Polish. Yeah, so, so for Jacqueline, we decided to go with first Polish she made this year. So we're going to talk right. about the first Polish, and then you guys can tell us what you think about it because... I happen to love it. I think it's awesome. Um, and then I was, mine was a little tricky because I think we were all in the same boat that the first polishes we purchased was from Polish Pickup because the first day we don't have them yet. No, we don't have them. But it was all, but it was January first. So that technically is the first purchase. But then I have the ones that I physically purchased, like locally here. So we'll talk about both of them. I'll share what I bought for PPU, and then we'll share those ones that. I picked up and then we will share Jacqueline's. The one and only that I've made this year. So, I'm yeah. sort of taking it, been taking it easy a little that, bit. That's true. Yeah, and that's good. You I'm need off. to break some well, time. Because I have a puppy. Yeah, you have a puppy. And you exactly. keep me busy. <laughs> All right, let's get this camera turned around and we'll check out those polishes. We haven't even started yet and she's already Already, we haven't even turned the camera on. She's already telling me that my polishes look the same. Oh, I can see now that they're not. So, no okay, lighting. whatever. I was about to say. If I so, down here, I can see that they're different. She was already about to be mean to me. Oh, okay, so. Here, if I can take a photo, they look like the same okay. polish, well, okay? Good thing that people don't just look from one angle then. So. Right? Wow. wow. You can tell we're getting toward the end of filming here. We're like, not. Nah. Well, and I have a, I have a puppy. Yeah, dog. and the puppy's kind of biting at her feet. He's so, yeah. Bit. Yes. Okay, so um, we're doing this Topic Tuesday on the first polishes purchased in the new year. And the first thing I'm going to say, um, like I said in the, in the intro, is that the first polishes that were bought for most of us is going to be from Polish Pickup. Um, so I'm just going to quickly show you on my phone what I picked up from Polish Pickup because that definitely, at 9 a.m., which, which is what time Polish Pickup is for us out here in Mountain Time, um, I was on, well, actually it was a little bit later because... I forgot, but I got the email and it came up at like 9.05, so I was good. But I got the Polish Molish, that's um, that darn 5G, and then I picked up the Caddy Lacquer uh, Crundum. I can't even say that, that pretty thermal. Um, so, that, and I'm trying to be really good because we've got a lot. I did get the acetone um, antidote as well, too, because I always pick that up. But um, I, I'm trying to be good because we've got a lot going on in our lives, so I'm trying not to buy out the entire place, which I could have easily done. But I'm trying to be good. So I'm trying to stick to two every month. So Because they can't travel alone, right? They never. They never can travel alone. Never. Um, okay, so then I will say that my first physical purchase for a polish um, was at Ulta. And that actually just happened just a couple days ago. Not over the weekend because I had to get shampoo. Um, I had put it off long enough, so I had to go to Ulta and get shampoo. Um, and, you know, again, you can't just not look at what's going on. Um, so the first ones I bought, um, I found these two, $1.50. Oh, see, now they don't look the same no, at all. No, they don't look the same at all. See, that's fine. And I actually, they're, they were $1.50 each. Whoa, $1.50 each. And I loved the two of them together. I'm a little suspicious um, that this one, which is here to stay, um, it looks like my favorite China Glaze um, head to toe, but I didn't want to pass it up because I thought that they looked so good together that I was afraid if it was even a little bit off that it might not uh, might well, not look good together. Dollar fifty? How can you I know I couldn't. That's what that was the same conversation I had in my head. Like a dollar fifty, I can't. Uh, I can't you pass could it throw up. it away if you needed to. Or this give is, it away. That's true. This one is Keep It One Hundred, and it's kind of this. Um, I don't know, soft. Like a giant shimmer. Yeah, well, it's, uh, I mean, it looks metallic y to me, um, but it's like a like pinky purple ah! color. Oh, hi, Timber. Timber, Timber is getting, he's high. like, he's done. All right, let's do it. I'm going to start with this um, Here to Stay. And it, it is this really pretty, dusky. I think it's actually darker than the China Glaze. If I get a chance, I will put up some comparison swatches in there. Yeah, I think it's a lot darker actually than the China Glaze head to toe. Yeah. Timber, what's going on? Thank you. Um, and then keep it at 100. This, and you're gonna see when I put these next to each other the reason why I wanted both of them because I just think this would be so pretty together. That this Manny with these two colors, right? 
Are you feeling it? It's feel, that's looking a little pearly to me. It is. It's got, like I said, it's frosty. It's kind of frosty. Yeah, it is. I mean, um, I'm okay with that as long as there's not brush strokes and it's a, li a little bit. There's strokes. a little bit. Mm -hmm. And we'll, we'll have to, jury's not out until our, our conclusion, concluding until we see it dry. Right. Okay. But honestly, the, the first polish that I absolutely had to get when I was in Ulta, so I, I have to claim this next one is probably officially the first one I got in the new year um, was this Orly and it's because everybody went bonkers over it this summer. This is Orly So Fly from their, that neon collection that came out that everybody loves so much. And I saw it, I had to have it. It's been on my lemmings list for a while now to get. So it's this beautiful neon green and oh, oh it's got these nice brushes and I love it. look at that green color. Oops, and now I've got something in it. Riff. Have some, uh... Oh my Sorry, goodness. The puppy just bit me. <laughs> the puppy is uh, causing some problems over here. <laughs> you thought okay. my toe was a shoe. Yep. <laughs> All right, so we're going to come do some second cuts. We'll come back and. Well, oh, that's right. We forgot you. Like, let's talk about Jacqueline. So yeah. I didn't buy any polish, but this is the first polish that I've made this year. And it's what she's been wearing, so you can show it. And yeah. you've had it on for a couple days now. Right? Have, there it is in the bottle. And it's so pretty. I love it. So, so it's kind of a dusky blue. Right? Yeah. Kind and of a dusky denim -y, yeah, kind, kind of a denim blue. And then it has, um, let's see, I'm going to investigate here. It's got the little square glitters, which I love. It's so pretty. Um, are they just iridescent? What else is in there? They're iridescent and it has white flakies in it. White flakies? It has some white flakies. Wow. Yeah. You can okay. see them in the shade. Right. And it has some scattered hollow. It does. Um, because there's some spectra spectra flare in there, right? Yeah, when you go out in the sun it kind of erases all of the the square glitter. So Jack and I were talking about this when we were walking the other day about just different people having different tastes. And one of that the differences that we definitely have is I like a lot of the hollow effect in there and she and I'm sure there's lots of other people out there likes just that little bit. I like just a tiny I'm gonna bit put the my, put I'm gonna put my it. other phone light on there so that you can really see. Oh see there and they yeah. all disappear. Right the square glitters I know it's like magic. Where'd the square glitters go? They're all right. gone. <laughs> Come back. Which there. is kind of cool because then you have like one effect when you're in bright light and then right. you have another effect when you're in the shade. So that's kind of what I was trying yeah. to do. Actually. And I think yeah it's awesome. Okay now we will come back with our second coats and conclude. All right, so we're back. And um, I was tried to be really mindful with my brush strokes on that one. Um, it's not dry yet because it literally was just coated. So I'm not sure I'll have to maybe put in a pick if mm, once it's totally it's dry. But... Kind of oh, yeah, it's definitely. I mean, it's got a little bit of frostiness. I'm just, yeah, but it's not horrible. So I mean, I've definitely seen a lot worse. And again, I'm really thinking about um, putting like doing some kind of nail art together with these two or maybe this wouldn't be on a full nail. I'd be using it like, I don't know, for dots or something or some other kind of nail art with it. So again, this is um, Sally Hansen's, the first two. One is, the first one is here to stay and this pearly one is keep it 100. And then of course the beautiful neon fluorescent green here is Orly So Fly, which I absolutely cannot wait to wear that this summer. That's super like, fun. I can't wait. It's so pretty. Um, and we kind of decided as we were doing these second coats that uh, Jacqueline thinks the one that's on her nails, we were talking about our next make it or break it, but maybe this one's going to be a make it. Uh, yeah, no. I, don't, I don't know. I have one that we can do make it or break it with. I'll make a couple more though so that we can have like four. Okay, we can decide. So uh, yeah. You guys can help us decide which ones we're keeping. And... Exactly. Yeah. We'll have a vote on that there. So, all right. Thank you guys for joining us today. Have a wonderful day. Please like and subscribe and we'll see you in our next video. Bye. Bye.